Well, I must say to CPS already, thank you very much for all the time you're with us. That marriage is over. Come the 1st of October, we'll be on our own. Uh, because where we are now, we are only left uh, with just 200 beneficiaries who needs to move on their new cut swap. Mm. And we are c confident if we could do 5.5 million people uh, between mid-June to date, mm. 200, it's nothing, 200,000, it's nothing. Yeah. And we have mechanisms we've put in place. We are going to go to those areas. We left with five provinces where we have to intensify our cut swap, mainly in Gauteng, and we are confident that uh, because all the forces now will be out there to make sure that everyone is in, a, in the system of Sasa Sapo arrangement, then yes. come the 1st of, Ju of uh, October, as per the court decision, Sasa will no longer be our partner. Now, <coughs> one of the challenges that we've experienced in the past is that government, whenever it communicates, it will be communicating with the people in Soweto and, you know, um, uh, Tanzani. Uh, effectively, your mod uh, not modern, but uh, what, urban areas, whereas the most vulnerable people are in the rural areas. Well, I must say that um, we did not depend on media alone. We've been flat on the ground. Before I went to Geneva, to deal with the issues of people with disabilities. I was flat on the ground that Saturday. While sleeping on Sunday, I was in Beckersford. So we're all over. Mm -hmm. We're trying to make sure we don't depend on media, but also we interact with our people. Mm -hmm. We try to understand exactly what are the challenges. That's why after our assessment, we realized that we can't just cut off our pay points. Yeah. We have to go through a transition mm, because in some know. areas the post office still has some challenges. Mm. We have to make sure that we close all the gaps. Okay. So whilst we move 100% to the post office, but we also will continue making sure that uh, pay points are not all closed, especially critical ones mm -hmm. where it's far. Because in some areas, like in if you go to some rural areas, you find that there's no post office in the township. The fo post yes. office is in town. Yes. So you must maintain those pay points in ensuring that you don't create a burden on our people. There have been reports, um, whether on social media or on radios or whatever, where people are saying, no, actually it was better during CPS. This post office is just a stressful exercise. Actually, we must go back to CPS. Well, um, the children of Israel, when they were moving out of Egypt, that's exactly what they were saying. It's better where we come from mm. and where we are going. We don't think we are going to go there. It's not going to be an easy transition. But the mere fact of that, we have 5.5 people who've moved with us yes. understand the reasons why. But also, the new system, the post office, is not going to make any deductions except for the 10 percent as per regulation 26 which says we can do that just for a funeral benefit yes beyond that we are not going to be able to do that but also those who say where we come from it's been better people complaints deductions Loans been given to cell people. phones, <laughs> cell phone <laughs> and payment, airtime. Yes. Uh, air mm. Not only that, electricity. Mm. Even when you don't have electricity, so those are the challenges which uh, our own, especially elderly people, were facing, and that's what we're dealing with. That's what made us to be in court today. Mm. The illegal deductions without the consent of elderly people. The other one, the deduction for the child grant, which mm. is illegal was happening. Mm. All those illegal activities which were done by CPFs are not going to happen now. But major, if somebody had missed her payment, whether they are in hospital, come next month, that money they were unable to get. But the worst part is that that money was not being referred back to Sasa to say we have uh, two million unclaimed, or unclaimed yes. money. Mm. Uh -uh, it was gone forever. Come next month, you get your money for the next month. But with the post office where we are, that money 
people will be able, when they go the following month, mm -hmm. get their money. There are no deductions. Okay. That's what we are promising. And also the post office will not um, effect unnecessary deductions, even if, there's no, if, for instance, there's no authorization yes. of a, a burial scheme. Your money cannot be deducted. You have to give consent okay. as a beneficiary. But only elderly people. Mm. Child grant, no scheme, yes. no deductions at all, mm. because it's meant to nurture and grow the child. Mm. So it's all those issues which we are dealing mm. with, and we are conscious that uh, we are in a transition, mm. but we are confident. The beginning of uh, August, we paid the money well. Mm. We understand that there might be challenges, but we are ready to deal with any challenges which we're going to confront. Well, we're a public broadcaster and perhaps I need to give you an opportunity um, to, to say what is that particular message which um, as a Department of Social Development you would want our people to know um, as we move uh, towards this phasing out of the, this, this contract? Well, first I want to say to our people, the old Sasa cut and the green cut, we must make sure we change them they still have sufficient time to change those cards to the new yellow gold visa card. That's the first message I want to say. But the other thing which I want to say is that uh, we have bring dignity to our people, mm. unlike in the past. The pay points now, there'll be chairs for our people to sit. If there's a need, it's in an open place. There will be a tent. We're also making sure that they have decency. We bring a your facilities ablution mm. to make sure that they are comfortable. Mm. We're really moving towards that and that's part of the future as we upgrade the post offices and make sure that we build modernized post offices and ensure that our elderly people are treated with decency. That's what I want to assure okay. as we move towards the future.